So just a quick review of how eugenics are treated in lunar culture. One of the things that the goals that they had when they started to colonize the moon was to kind of try to treat some of the long-term illnesses, genetic illnesses that people have, hereditary illnesses. And so it was agreed upon that in order to get the best results out of so many people trying to move to and live on the moon, they should do what they considered to be ethical eugenics which meant gene editing, the CRISPR style. And there was a sudden leap in that technology, which was kind of unexplained, but everybody just kind of took it as like, yeah, this is great. Now we can get rid of like this net disease. Like diabetes is not an issue anymore, for example, at least for the moon's uh, people and uh, in, in conditions of that nature. Uh, Alzheimer's has been removed. Um, a lot of forms of dementia, uh, cancer, many forms of cancer have been removed from the gene pool just through this gene editing process. Like things like enlarged hearts, different like cardiovascular conditions. Yeah. They haven't gotten all of them, but they're working on it. Yes, Nia can eat all the sugar she wants. In fact, the metabolism of moon people is actually pretty good. You would have noticed like that's probably one of the reasons why Tyson is so fucking cut, even though he just drinks soda and <laughs> fruit, fruit fucking <laughs> fruit juice all the time he just drinks <laughs> soda and juice boxes and fucking eats like an actual 14 year old he is like awesome. ripped it's freaking dope it, it explains why there's so many quote-unquote protagonists on the moon they're all ripped because of eugenics kind of that's the uncomfortable implication that nobody likes to talk about <laughs> they like to pretend that it's because of superior living, better diets, like a more controlled, like everything. But if pressed hard enough, people would be forced to admit that eugenics do play quite a role. And people from the Earth, especially, uh, would probably take issue with this, except, you know, they're busy dealing with, you know, yeah, the uh, the Seven Nation Army and God knows what other problems. There is a crossover of the eugenics issue uh, because one of the things the Seven Nation uh, Army had to deal with with the Knife Party was that the knife party was really into eugenics like a lot like a lot including the active gene editing of pre-existing people one of the ways they were able to get their modifications like to be accepted by the body was to actually edit a person's genes oh, a similar boy. thing that you would see in <clears throat> holland oats heart in fact those are all things that you would know. Um, probably of this group, only you would really know that, Simone. Like everyone else is kind of like Nia is just kind of a teen bop, teeny bopper. Marisol's <laughs> not from the moon, neither is Jim. Um, you two isn't a scientist. Roland wouldn't know. Only you would be aware of that, like really aware of it in an uncomfortable way as a biologist. You you know that sort of like how the sausage is made business. Hey, Simone. Hmm? This, this weird blood. I remember Jason was saying that like, they do gene editing here on the moon, like when people are born, and something about like increasing longevity and how that was the whole thing. Do you think that this blood is just like, I don't know, like souped up? Mm. I know you said it was natural or whatever, but doesn't that just mean that they directly like mess with the DNA or something? It's entirely possible. Uh... Holland has uh, bits and pieces of it, and you know she kind of looks uncomfortable, and uh, most of it is fairly natural. Yep. I'll tell you this real quick. Also, um, so you've seen probably how gene editing, like people have tried to do the longevity thing. This looks like the perfect. Like if it were the if it were the result of gene editing, this is flawless longevity. Like this is the work of a person whose technology is far beyond you. If it were possible. In other words, this is the ideal, a cell that can like just evolve, adapt, all that. Like this is, this is some next level shit. If it, if it were made, but you couldn't tell without more lab equipment and more time. Yeah. Key thing is, I definitely need to upgrade this lab here to oh, get a great. better idea. Oh, wait. So this is like fancier than normal? Uh, definitely. Uh, it's, I would need cutting edge lab equipment to fully, really get an idea i think we should because if this is like vampire blood then it's a key thing <laughs> which by the way i really don't think it is but uh oh boy do you know where we could go to like or maybe maybe not to knock on your uh knowledge level but maybe there's like an expert or something that's like blood specialist you know possibly um hey uh she runs upstairs Hey, Jason. Yeah. Hey, man. Are any of your contacts like really nerdy scientist person? 
because you know we got like this blood sample and i don't know where we can find like a really like souped up lab for simone to use but maybe we could like ask them to check it out you know uh i'm afraid i just really know the one and you've met her already oh who's that oh no alana alana <laughs> oh man do you know any like facility we might be able to use so that Simone can check this blood out further? Um, not really my field of expertise, but you know, Simone is a scientist. She may know somebody. And Simone, it is possible that you would know somebody. Professional contacts. Probably indeed. I mean. Marisol runs back down the basement. Ah, sorry. Okay, farewell. <laughs> <laughs> Marisol's rude as fuck, apparently. <laughs> Simone, hey. Do you know, like, where we could go to, like, a bigger, crazier lab so that you can, like, figure this out? Probably. I'd have to reach out. Back yes, in we're the... definitely not dealing with immortal vampires or anything. Yeah, lightning struck outside my house after you said that, or while you were saying <laughs> it. Spooky. So some of your colleagues uh, who are very concerned about your health, mental health, because you, you, you're kind of sporadic these days and how you attend, but they, they are definitely willing to provide you with some assistance. Uh, there is a lab. They tell you that uh, you may be able to get some access to uh, in uh, District 4. So, any ideas, Simone? Simone looks uncomfortable. There is the ELO wing. Did you seriously just suggest the ELO wing? Like, I guess they have a lab? They do have a lab. Yeah, they're just gonna, like, let us borrow <sighs> it. Yeah. Okay. You just gotta ask. Well, there is a uh, Marconi Mumbo. Uh, Go on. He was the, uh, supposedly the, in the person Jason was going to meet, I believe, wasn't it? So... Oh? That's a possible person. So that means he's probably not a stuck-up person that is inaccessible. Maybe we should give that guy a ring. We should ask him for our, like, for his help, I mean. Well, when does Jason have his number? Or who does Simone have his number? Like, how much do we know this guy? Marisol runs up the basement steps. Hey, Jason! Ah, oh. uh, <laughs> well, okay. Jason! Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Hey, man. <laughs> do you have, like, do, do you have any way to contact that Marconi guy that you were going to, like, you know, go interview and uh, before you got beat up? Yeah, I have his information. All right, cool. We want to talk to him if possible. Okay. <laughs> um, he I... doesn't know any of you, I'm pretty sure. Well, could you introduce us? I can try. <laughs> I'm totally imposing on you. <laughs> no, 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 it's it's fine. It's part of part of the job. Awesome. Hey, like come down to the basement with us. Oh, I'm good. Oh. Why are you scared to the basement? There's a pause. I don't like spiders. There what? aren't any spiders. As you say that, a small plastic spider actually comes down a, like a string right behind you. What? Oh, don't mind the spiders. They're Harmless. I mean, they really are plastic. His mind is blown. How did he know that this prank would happen right here? This is amazing. What prank? My friend Joe Desi likes making pranks. Marisol runs back down the steps. Man, Mia, you can really yell. Thanks. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, watch out. There's like a little spider behind you. No, it's made out of plastic. Yeah. What? It's like a skeleton boy. Yeah, Joe Desi left left pranks everywhere. It's the best. This place is weird. Hey, uh, Jason said that he could, I mean, I'm sure maybe you could have heard him, but he said he can introduce us to the sky. So that's pretty cool, right? She gives a thumbs up. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go we meet him and learn about murderers. That's what I'm uh, saying. Then me, I'm not a murderer and there wasn't nobody murder upstairs. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. I mean, you were the one that would sit chest and throw it in the river, but... Hey, man, I'm not the one that pounded that guy into the smithereens. She winks at Nia. Thanks, by the way. And she runs back up the basement steps. Alright, Jason, we got a date. What? Yeah, man, let's go meet this guy. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Huh? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I just have to, uh, you know, get dressed. Uh, just get ready. Give me five. Alkesha is drinking <laughs> a big glass of orange juice. Oh no! 
Did uh, you by any it's chance a... want to come along or we could drop you off? Come along for what? We're gonna go investigate. Oh, that's like what I should do because I'm like a cop. Yeah, totally. Yeah, detective work. Hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, sister. Woohoo. Hell yeah. Oh boy. This orange juice tastes weird. Oh, don't drink that. Um, uh, I'll get you a fresh glass. Mia tries to put the glass down. Pour out the glass. Oh, oh no. Yeah, man. man. Oh, oh, was in there. She leads her to the sink. Just start spitting. Ugh. Why? Because there was like a little body in there. Just start spitting. Like, try to puke. Oh my god, that's so gross. Ugh. It might have like old man germs or something in there. Ew. I don't understand. This is, that's where she No, no. And no, don't. The everyone, don't tell her. Give me that glass uh, and pour the glass out. Don't tell me what. Go get I, some I water and some you. mad. Go, nope. Go get some water and some Advil. Okay. Like I said, it tasted weird. And I didn't, everybody was talking over everybody, so I didn't hear it. But I'm going to assume that, like, somebody put their cigarette out or something in there, which is really gross. You I'd rather the cigarette. Yes. But yeah, sure. Nobody smokes in here. Look, we'll just go with it. So you have your kind of like plan set out. You have, uh, you want to meet the good doctor. Uh, Jason can tell you a little bit more like contact information if you'd like. Jim, you're in the car. And just so you know, you do see people as you're driving by stop and turn towards the car and start walking towards it. Oh, no. Do the others see this or are they, do they not see these people? It's likely they wouldn't notice. Mm. Okay. Even so if they could. We don't even see the uh, quest giver icon on both sides. You do not. You do go. You do come to a stop sign though, and there is a knock on the window. Mia opens the window. Not a homeless man, but it looks pretty rough. Hey, how you going? How you doing? Uh, hey, hi, man. Hey, I need, I need money. There's little fishes through her jacket. Wait, uh, why do you need? Why do you need money? Need money to buy better gear. What better gear? I mean, look at me. I got. I need money. Jim leans forward and says with exasperation, "Just go get me bear pelts." You got it, bub. He walks away. What? <laughs> what? What was that, Jim? There are no bears on the moon. Yeah, there are. I saw some. I killed some. Where? In a park in District 5. Oh. Uh, bears? I, I, yeah, see, there's this guy with a question mark, and he wanted bear pelts. And then when I got the bear pelts, he asked me to kill him. So I killed him, and he left behind the question mark. And now I have the question mark, and people keep asking me for money, so I have to tell them to go get bear pelts, and then they leave. Is this is what it sounds like when I rant? Yes. Yes. Oh. 